Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and here on my channel I talk all about embroidery, applique, Etsy, and running your own small business. So today I'm filming and um, doing something that you guys have been asking for ever since I did a recent video that showed um, how to use mylar on um, sketch embroidery designs. You guys have been wanting to know how this washes and my answer was let me find out. Um, so I don't necessarily plan to use these on ones to sell for multiple reasons, um, but I know a lot of people make things just for their own personal use. Some people use do sell um, items with the Mylar. So I'm going to find out for us how these wash. Um, I made three shirts today. I'm sorry it took me a little bit, but I needed time to actually make the shirts. Um, so I picked out three sketch designs. These are all from Alphalicious Designs. I'll include a link below if you're interested in the actual designs themselves. Um, and I use just the kind of the pink iridescent Mylar. Um, this is the stuff I bought at Hobby Lobby and that I showcased in that last video. I will also link the video here for you guys um, if you're interested in seeing the original. So today's just kind of an update and a washware test. Um, you can see these are fresh off the machine. I haven't even pulled off the Mylar yet. So I had made two shirts and then I, um, one is AJ Blanks, this a pink little duck big sister shirt for my daughter. Um, the next one is a Blanks Boutique, just the light blue shirt with a little bunny coop. And then I'd already hit two of the three main Blank companies. So I'm like, you know what, maybe I should just, I don't anticipate the Blanks companies affecting the Mylar at all. But I grabbed an ARB Blanks shirt and just made a cute little frog shirt. I was thinking just some spring, eastery, things like that for um, my daughter to wear all spring. So that's why I picked out those designs. I'm going to go ahead and pull the Mylar off of here and heat press those. I showed how those look and how those handle the heat press um, in my last video if you want to reference that. But I will go ahead and take photos and show you guys what these look like after they're heat pressed and um, with like um, a cloud cover on the back and then I will show you guys what they look like so before washing after washing and then after going through the dryer um, I will preface this with saying that I send care instructions for my customers you know wash on gentle tumble dry on low heat or preferably um, lay flat to dry but reality that people probably don't follow those I don't follow my own directions. So I'm going to just throw this in with regular wash. I need to wash my daughter's clothes today anyways. So I'm just going to throw it in on regular cycle. And then um, I'm going to pull these out and I'm actually going to dry them on heat. We're going to do worst case scenario and see how they hold up. Um, and then I'll let you guys know. I'll probably do at least one of them just like through a second cycle um, just to see if, you know, repeated washing has any difference. Um, but. And that, so then I will um, also include photos of what these look like once they are through the wash and dry cycle. Um, I don't anticipate any problems other than maybe some shrinkage in the shirts, which happens normally. Um, so I don't think they'll be any worse than any other type of sketch design. They may just need smoothed out, things like that. But um, let's go ahead and find out. So here are all three before I um, wash them. This is in my light box here. Let's zoom in so you can see each one. I will say that, just a side note on the Mylar designs in general, um, the first time I did this for the initial video, I was kind of selective on the design and I made sure it was something with um, not a, um, a lot of intricate little parts that I was going to have to pull the Mylar out. This time I picked ones I really just liked and um, definitely harder to get the Mylar out. So um, you'll see, like especially like in the lettering and like the big sister and stuff like that, um, around some of those little intricate parts, intricate parts around um, the lettering there and the details. Um, it was definitely a little hard to get that out. It came off a little bit easier though once I heat pressed it. So that's uh, just a side note. Um, so let's go ahead and get these washed. Again, I'm just going to wash them on just a regular um, cycle in my laundry machine. And then I'm going to dry them specifically on a higher heat, even though I would normally dry my daughter's clothes on a low heat. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the washer. It is, like I said, just on a um, normal cycle right there. And then it that just automatically does like a warm wash. It doesn't do um, super hot. And then um, spin speed high. So we're just gonna go ahead and go. 
All right, so here they are directly out of the washer. I'm just gonna smooth them out a little bit. They're still wet. Um, out of the washer, they look fine. It's like a little wrinkled up, but that's kind of normal with any type of sketch design. Um, I don't notice any issues right now. And like I said, I'm not really concerned about the heat of the dryer other than maybe the shirt shrinking underneath them. Um, because the mylar itself has already been under the heat of the heat press, so I don't think it'll cause any problems. So they look pretty good right now. Like I said, just wrinkled just from being wadded up in the washer. Um, but let's go ahead and dry these on high heat just to kind of get a worst case scenario. All right, these are straight out of the dryer now. This one's maybe just a tiny bit damp still, but honestly, no issues with the mylar itself. It's nice and flexible. I had someone ask about if there's like any crunchy feeling. Um, you can just very, very slightly hear it. And honestly, it's actually less now that I've washed it and dried it. Um, so I don't think that's a concern, or at least not for me. Um, there's that one. All three of them look good though. Not even wrinkled up, nothing like that. There's a close up of it. Um, no issues that I'm noticing. This one shrunk a little bit more than the others, which I'm honestly not surprised by. Um, and it's maybe just a tiny bit damp too still. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish drying them, but uh, no concerns with the actual mylar part. Um, like I said, you might wanna be picky about your designs because <laughs> there's pieces coming off like that were in um, open areas that I did not get picked out very well. So overall though, super impressed with how it washed. No concerns for me from a wash and wear standpoint. I think it should be fine. Um, but I will show you guys these in a, like better lighting and pictures tomorrow. It's late and my laundry room doesn't have great lighting. Um, so um, I just I wanted to show right out of the dryer though that they were perfectly fine and not um, no issues though. So again, here's the final um, look at these shirts and some better lighting in my office the next day. Um, no wash issues whatsoever in my opinion. Um, one certain brand of shirts shrunk just a little bit more than the others, so you see a little wrinkling around that. Um, but I was kind of expecting that, but the mylar itself, completely fine. It's not crispy and crunchy. Um, you can just barely hear it when you touch it, um, but it stood up fine to the wash. Um, Otherwise, everything else looks okay with it. So I hope you guys like this um, update video uh, with the wash wear on the um, Mylar designs, and I hope this was helpful for you. I'll see you guys next time.